Raising Global Sustainability Consciousness. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 256. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 256, February 18, 2018 edition. Today I'd like to talk about raising global sustainability consciousness. And the way that One Community is forwarding that movement is by increasing participation. We believe that if we really want to raise global sustainability consciousness, the goal, the ultimate end game is to get everybody involved, everybody involved in some way. And so our project is designed to provide something for everyone, you know, and maybe that's just new information on a different type of vegetable or fruit or something to grow, or perhaps it's building a guest house, or perhaps it is moving more towards sustainable energy, or maybe it's just our constant ongoing thread through social media that is always reporting on positive news and positive changes in the world. Or maybe it is the ultimate expression of one community, which is building a teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub that is designed to be self-replicating, to teach others how to build a self-sustainable community as well, and introducing a way of living that we think that most people will consider to be better than the way they're living right now, and open sourcing and free sharing every aspect of it so it can be replicated as either individual components or as the complete model. A new way of living that combines the physical foundations of sustainability with the emotional foundations of sustainability, raising global sustainability consciousness by inviting everybody to participate. And that participation could come through accessing our information on the internet, or it could come through actually visiting one community, experiencing the lifestyle, experiencing what radical sustainability can provide, the freedom that that can provide people, the quality of food that that can provide people, the quality of air, water that that can provide people, but most importantly, the quality of life that that can provide for most people. And so by by combining the physical foundations of sustainability with emotional foundations of sustainability, and the physical foundations, everybody knows what these are. They're food, energy, and housing. But the emotional foundations of sustainability, the fulfilled living practices, the highest good economic models, the highest good uh, education models, as well as the true earth stewardship models, putting those things together has the potential to change the way that we live has the potential to revolutionize the way that people look at living, focusing more on cooperation and collaboration instead of competition, demonstrating that when we work together, we live in community and we work as community, that we can get more done more affordably, more easily. We can provide more time to do the things that we love to do. We can surround ourselves with friends and family. And most importantly, we can even have more things to do with that time through the collaborative environment. And we can share that environment with the world, inviting anybody who's interested to come and visit, participate. And in so doing, generate enough revenue for the model to replicate itself, for the model to expand. And the more we share what it is that we're doing and the more fun we have doing it, the more we demonstrate this way of life as a better way of life than the way that most people are living right now, the more successful we'll be, the more the model will spread, the more people's lives we will touch, and of course, the more fun and excitement and enjoyment that we will have as the people that are creating it all. This is how we're raising global sustainability consciousness. And we're doing it one open source tool, tutorial, and resource at a time right now, but when we bring it all together on the property, and we demonstrate the way of life, and we invite hundreds of people, then thousands of people, then tens of thousands of people, and eventually hundreds of thousands of people to visit one community with the capability to host thousands at a time, we can create a sustainable world for everybody within our lifetime through a self-replicating model like this, designed to self-replicate because it's all open source and free shared so it can meet the needs, the diverse needs and the differing needs and the differing values of people around the world. Open source and free shared with the seven different sustainable village models. All this you can see happening in the background of this video right now, the education model, the highest good food models, all of these different things. Each one of them is meant to help build community. You don't have to launch the entire project, but for people who want to, for people who are willing to, for people who see and experience what it is that we're doing and want to completely change the way that they're living, 
we can replicate this model across the world, work as a global cooperative, a global collaborative, creating more and more open source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources, and taking our place in history, helping write the next amazing chapter of the human story together, creating a sustainable world for everyone, raising global sustainability consciousness by demonstrating raised sustainability consciousness and inviting everybody to participate in a way that is easy, affordable, and by demonstrating is attractive enough so that people want to participate. This is how we are creating world change. This is what One Community is all about. We are a nonprofit organization. We are a 100% volunteer organization. And we are creating this to change the world, to create a sustainable planet that works for everybody, for the highest good of all life on our planet within our lifetime. And if you look at the numbers, if you look at the possibility of one community establishing itself with just 50 people, starting with 50 people working together, collaborating, cooperating to build one community. And that one community inspires two additional communities the next year, say of only 20 or 30 people. And then those two communities plus one community helps inspire four more. And if those all combine help inspire eight more the year after that, and then 16 and then 32 and 64 and so on and so forth. Within 30 years, we can touch the lives of every single person on this planet, if we can demonstrate a model of living, a sustainable way of living that reduces expenses, provides more time, surrounds people with people that share their values, people they love and care about, bringing community together, bringing families together, working for the highest good of life on this planet, we can change the world into a world that works for everybody, benefiting everyone now and for generations to come, creating well, some could say creating a utopia on Earth, creating a sustainable world. At the very least, creating a world that is truly sustainable because the way we're living right now is not. And so it would make sense to change that. And so this is how we're raising global sustainability consciousness. And with all that said, here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards that goal. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued research needed for the next generation of the open source climate battery designs. What you see here is the updated design based on this research. And the core team continued working on the Murphy bed instructions. This week, we updated how sanding and sealing is indicated on the Murphy Bed instructions, began page 714, and added hinges and tongue picks to page 311 materials. We also redesigned P511 symbols to match the completed pages, and added additional P511 symbols, all shown here. The core team also began updating the Greywater Systems page with new graphics and formatting to match the rest of the website. You can see the beginning of this work here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, switched from creating quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders to helping with the AutoCAD layouts for this village. Here's update 101 of Dean's work, showing the expansion of the maker spaces and updates to the living space layouts. Aparna Tandon, architect, continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. What you see here is her 45th week of work that created this second generation presentation for zones 14, 15, and 16. And Jagannathan Shankar Mahadevan, mechanical engineer, completed his 15th week volunteering. This week's focus was finishing the written narrative and creating the related pie charts and graphs for the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6 cost analysis page. You can see a sample of some of this work here. Jagannathan also finished the cost analysis calculations for the Treehouse Village Pod 7 cost analysis page. What you see here is a sample of this additional completed work. Michelle Panzaru, interior designer and architectural drafter, also completed her fifth week working on the Treehouse Village residential designs. This week, she created a new AutoCAD file mirroring the floor plan updates she's been working on in 3D. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team added missing windows to the renders for the city center and updated all the pages of the site that include them. 
One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued work on the food plans on the food self-sufficiency transition plan pages and created more meals and recipes based on the images you see here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued researching images to add to the education, evaluation, and evolution process open source pages and tutorials. We found 10 more images for the pages, as you can see here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team continued developing our Instagram page by adding 30 new images with optimized descriptions. You can see some of these here. The core team also worked on the OC donation spreadsheet by taking all of the PayPal data and adding it to the spreadsheet, creating headings and organizing all the data. The Highest Good Network software team consists of Samya Manahar, Pretty Coterie, Shuber Mittal, Priyanka Singh, and Asha Tatamari. This week, the team enabled CRUD operations on action items, enabled users to assign new action items for self, volunteers, and managers within team, and added a component to retrieve project detail information. You can see some of this work here. Well, there you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of raising global sustainability consciousness. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, tools, tutorials, resources, everything we're creating, visit our written blog, visit our website, all the information is there. If you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. And of course, if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page or the easiest way to help us out is by subscribing to our YouTube channel, liking and commenting on our posts, on our social media posts. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Facebook, we are on LinkedIn, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Pinterest, we are now on Instagram, as well as about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to share our information, to like our information, to access our information. So if you like a super easy way to help out one community, visit our website, share the pages that you like the most. Visit any one of our social media networks. You can link to all of them in the bottom left-hand corner of our site uh, and just go and like our posts, like our YouTube videos, uh, share our YouTube videos. All of that stuff helps a lot and we are grateful for everybody that participates. Of course, just Thanks for watching to the end. And of course, if you're somebody who's donated to one community, that makes a big difference too. As I said before, we are a 100% volunteer nonprofit organization. And so I'm not paid for what I'm doing and neither is anybody else in our team. So all the donations that we get go 100% into supporting our website infrastructure, expanding our open source uh, tools, tutorials, resources, like supporting our mission. It doesn't go to wages. So if you're somebody who's donated to one community, Thanks for your contribution. It does make a big difference. And uh, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.